If you live in the UK, I bet you know this roof. Well, maybe not this exact roof, but one very like it. This is a hip roof on a 1930s bungalow, and there are hip roofs like this in cities right across the UK. I've redesigned lots of homes with hip roofs over the years, including the extension to this house in Edinburgh. Clients regularly ask me, is it worth getting solar panels on a hip roof? And I tell them it's ideal, because no matter what direction the house faces, at least two sides of a hip roof will get direct sunlight. The problem is that clients also ask me how much solar panels will cost, and how much money they will save by generating electricity. Now, I'm an architect. I can draw the roof and tell you how many panels will fit, but until recently, I couldn't advise on the cost to install them, or how much money the panels might save. But in this video, I'm not just going to show you how many panels fit on the roof of this house. I'm going to tell you what they cost to install, and how much money it saves the owner. If you own a house with a hip roof in the UK, and you want to know about solar panels, this is the video for you. About now, you might be wondering how I got the financial information on solar panels, and the answer is energy-wise. They sponsored this video, and I'm going to show you how easy their online tool is to use. EnergyWise is a new energy advice service from the experts at Energy Saving Trust. Their online tool provides advice on low-carbon technologies such as heat pumps, smart meters, water heating, battery storage, and solar PV panels. It will also provide information on sources of funding such as grants and loans. I reviewed the EnergyWise online tool earlier this year and found I could generate their free report from my own house in around 15 minutes, provided I had my gas and electric usage figures to hand before starting. Let's use this house as an example of how easy the EnergyWise tool is to use. First up, I enter the address. This bit is clever because it draws on available records to work out what kind of home this is. EnergyWise have access to 17 different databases, including the Ordnance Survey, ONS, and the Land Registry. You can see all the options to choose from, and this is pretty easy to use. It's not unlike filling in a home insurance application. The EnergyWise tool allows me to choose from a selection of solar panel options based on their power output. I selected the 6 kilowatt option, which cost £8,964 and could save £163 per year off the energy bill and generate a smart export guarantee payment of £648 per year. That means the payback period would be 11 years on these panels. Installing these solar panels will also move the house from an EPC rating of D to B, which is brilliant. But would the panels actually fit on this roof? Well, a typical solar panel is 1 meter wide and 1.9 meter long. 18 of them could hypothetically generate 6,300 watts per hour. You can see from this 3D model, the panels are distributed across three different slopes of the roof. The house faces almost due south, but because of the roof geometry, only four panels face in that direction. Seven panels face west, and another seven panels face east. This might look a bit haphazard, but I've spoken to solar panel installers, and they say this type of arrangement, with panels facing three different directions, will generate a steady amount of electricity throughout the day. Roofs that only face south generate a spike of electricity around noon, and very little in the morning or evening. It turns out that a hip roof is ideal for solar panels if you want to consume lots of the electricity yourself. The smooth distribution of electricity throughout the day means this array of panels will be making electricity when it's needed by the people in the house. And that's where installing a home battery system or running an electric car makes sense. My home charger can run entirely off solar panels, provided they generate at least 1.4 kilowatts. If the panels aren't generating that much, the charger draws the rest from the grid, to make sure whatever the panels are producing is used to charge the car. If you own an EV and you work from home, a solar array on a hip roof makes sense, because the car can charge slowly throughout the day. Another bonus is that solar panels are usually allowed under permitted development, unless your home is in a conservation area, national park, area of outstanding natural beauty, or a World Heritage Site like Edinburgh Newtown. And in places like this, you will need permission to install solar panels, and they can't face the street. On a practical level, care should be taken when designing a solar array so the panels don't block roof vents, extractors, or boiler flues. The EnergyWise tool creates a downloadable personal report, and they also offer help and advice on finance, getting a qualified energy assessor, as well as finding certified and trusted installers who can make sure those practical issues are taken care of properly. These next steps are crucial for homeowners. I'm in the construction industry and have plenty of contacts, but the average person needs help making these suggestions a reality. This is a really great tool. It's free and impartial, and you should check it out if you're thinking about improving your home in the areas where it's available. Follow the link in the description to check out the calculator for yourself. 